In this sound seminar's presentation entitled Cannibals, Chemicals, and Memory, James V. McConnell, professor of psychology at the University of Michigan, describes the experimental work that has led to the conclusion that flatworms do learn. Here is Professor McConnell. I'm going to be talking today about uh, cannibals, chemicals, and memories. James V. McConnell was born on the 26th of October, 1925, in Oak Mulgee, Oklahoma. His mother had been a high school teacher and his father a cafe owner. At the age of 16, he graduated high school in Shreveport, Louisiana. McConnell received his undergraduate degree from Louisiana State University in 1947. As an undergraduate, he participated in the V-12 Navy College Training Program. McConnell completed his Ph.D. at the University of Texas in 1956 under the direction of experimental psychologist Carl Dallenbach. After graduation, McConnell accepted a position as an instructor at the University of Michigan. Within seven years, he became a full professor, a position that he would retain until his retirement in 1988. You're going to have to stick with me while I tell you about the worms a little bit. I'm not sure how much of what I tell you today you're going to believe just right off and simply because I told it to you. But uh, I do hope you'll listen because what I'm going to tell you is factual in all cases. And even if you don't believe it, I think perhaps you'll enjoy parts of it as we go along because it's a pretty funny story. McConnell gained notoriety for a paper he published in the Journal of Neuropsychiatry regarding the subject of memory transfer. In this experiment, he conditioned planarians, or flatworms, to respond to a stimuli. He then ground up those flatworms and fed them to other flatworms that had not been conditioned. According to his findings, the cannibal flatworms learned to respond to the stimuli faster than the non-cannibal flatworms. He believed that he had found evidence for a chemical basis for memory. The findings were never completely reproducible by other scientists. After his flatworm studies, McConnell established the Worm Runner's Digest, an informal journal devoted to the subject of memory transfer. This was a somewhat tongue-in-cheek publication. He later began the more professional Journal of Biological Psychology. It only took one subscription to get both journals, as McConnell printed the Worm Runner's Digest upside down to the back of the Journal of Biological Psychology. Also known for his work in teaching of psychology, McConnell received a Distinguished Contribution to Education in Psychology Award from the American Psychological Association in 1976. The following year, he would continue to contribute, this time with the textbook Understanding Human Behavior. This book became very popular and would be used across the United States for years to come. On November 15, 1985, a package was delivered to McConnell's home. It included a note which read, I'd like you to read this book. The package turned out to be a mail bomb. When the bomb exploded, McConnell was left with some hearing loss, but he was mostly uninjured. His research assistant, who opened the package, suffered injuries to the left arm and the stomach. At the time of his death, it was unknown who sent the bomb to his house. As it turned out, the culprit was Ted Kaczynski, otherwise known as the Unabomber. Why McConnell was targeted is not known, but it has been suggested that Kaczynski had animosity for McConnell's work and associated fame. In 1990, McConnell died at the age of 64. 